Hey guys, it's Joe Carroll. Welcome to another episode of In The Mix. Today we're going to be using our 251 on vocals and also talking about recording electric guitars. Okay, today on Beck Black Vocals, I'm choosing the new WA251. I'm really excited about this. I've only got to use it a couple times, and it sure enough lives up to the reputation and lineage of the original 251 that's known and prized for its very smooth, creamy mid-range, the very open top end, and it's one of the most prized vocal mics of all time. And I know it's gonna sound great on Beck Black today, so let's go in the control room and give it a listen. Dangerous. Guys, so today we're gonna have Jeff King's guitar going, and he's got this 212 cab. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two mics, one on each cone. So what I've got is I've got an SM57, which is a standard, you know, electric guitar uh, microphone, and I'm gonna use the um, uh, a ribbon mic. This happens to be the Cascade Fathead on the other cone, and that's my standard combo. Sometimes I'll throw some other stuff out there. When I talk about ele miking electric guitar, there's basically three positions that I will use. One is dead center. That's gonna be the brightest tone that you can get. It's gonna be the most bite, the most uh, you know high end. As you move away from the center of the cone, the dust cap, over toward the edge, it's gonna get d darker. Um, not necessarily darker, I mean dark, but, but you know less high end, less bite. And the other thing you can do is you can, when you're over to the side, you can point the microphone towards the dust cap and it mellows the sound so it gets it, it, even another stage of, of less bright all right but what i'm going to do is um start so i'm just off the edge of the dust cap you know about two inches uh, and uh, and that's with both microphones aligned so that they're in phase because the whole idea is you want this ribbon mic to, to provide this warm body underneath this fullness this muscle this thickness that the 57 sometimes on its own doesn't have so it's very important that they're in phase to accomplish that otherwise the tone will actually get thinner but anyway that's basically a great starting spot i will only move these if we have a problem 90 percent my starting spot this gets the job done and i never have to move the microphone all right good friend of mine today jeff king on guitar uh we've got his his uh cartridge rig that's all his fancy tools that he uses to play on huge records all the time all this good stuff all of that good stuff we've already talked about microphone placement on the cabinets um, I'm gonna have you through the WA 412 today which I know you own and love it, love it. let's check it out Absolutely. okay let's talk about what we're doing to the electric guitars in the control room uh, very, not very much. Um, I've got the WA-412 preamp. It's, uh, I've, I've noticed it's a guitar player's favorite. So I've got, I've got, remember, I've got the two mics. So I've got the 57 as well as the ribbon mic um, are both going into the 412. And then um, that is it. What, one thing I've found from working with elite level guitar players like Jeff King and Brent Mason, some of these names you guys know, they really don't, they don't want very much done to their instrument. They want to know exactly what is coming out of their amplifier. They know their heads, they know their pedals, they know their speakers. And so the worst thing in the world sometimes is to start turning EQ knobs. And I'm not against using a little bit of a WA-76 style compression, a little bit of an LA-3A or something like that from time to time. But for the most part, I let it go to tape pretty raw. And that seems to make them really happy. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Hey, if you would, follow Warm Audio on their social media pages for all the most current information on our program, as well as, if you would, follow me on my own social media at In The Mix with Joe Carroll. We're gonna have extra footage, extra content that I hope you guys really enjoy. Okay, now, here's Beck Black singing Don't Call Me Darling. You've been in